Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's talk about one of the most empowering and important bow strokes that you need to know. So this bow stroke is at the heel and it starts the note in a very dynamic way. Your bowing arm needs to learn how to do this uh, because it's really the foundation of adding more musicality and colour into your playing. So uh, let's have a, a little look at it first of all. Seems very simple, but it, as a matter of fact, um, you've got to engage the string uh, with the bow hair just on the point of landing because the stroke happens from off the string, but it's not a sort of uncontrolled stroke that sounds like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Where the, the bow is just landing without without any sort of engagement at the beginning. The key to this stroke is the, the little click of engagement uh, at the very beginning. And then how you come off, it's just a taper, it's just a, quite a steep uh, takeoff, okay? Let me show you from another angle. Now notice when I uh, lift the bow off the string at the end of the of the stroke that the tip of the bow is actually facing down the way, okay? Because my arm is moving in a circle, okay? Now this really brings out the resonance in your violin if you're doing it correctly, and this is a fantastic thing for you to engage with and start hearing and understand um, and being in tune with. Uh, when I say being in tune, I mean really meld into uh, the fact that your violin is much more resonant than we normally give it credit for when we're just playing. When we let it ring like that in that special way, um, we're waking our violin up, we're tuning into m so much more colour and musicality um, that'll come through into our playing. I do hope the microphone's picking up the long uh, trail off that my violin is making after each of these notes. Now, uh, this is the basis of an awful lot of your um, development, this stroke. Um, and one thing is that the shoulder has got absolutely nothing to do with making bow strokes. The only reason the shoulder moves is simply because it's on a socket. Okay, so nothing like that. No raising the shoulder, no nothing like that. What you can do is concentrate on the circular aspect of this. So the other thing to watch out for, and this is very important, is to make every single stroke exactly the same length, which might seem difficult when you're trailing off. But as a matter of fact, um, if you look at the arm, the arm is doing exactly the same every time. And that makes the bow do the same every time. So you can have a look in the mirror and just have a look at this. So just to remind you of the difference between the sound, the engagement at the beginning, the little click, and then not doing that, just, do you see the difference? So arpeggios are great with it.
So it's quite hard work doing this and very concentrated to see if you can make it all very, very even. So once you feel you're a bit better at that, um, you can do, do it, but don't take the bow off. Let the bow um, take its course right to the, the tip and see what happens. See? It's beautiful. The other thing to do next is to learn to do the up bow. Now there's a thing here where you've got to be very careful not to catch the corner of the little nut thing here, the little metal bit, um, as you're making your stroke. It's rather large movement so please be careful of that. So try to make the engagement, the little click. Obviously there's much more bounce in the um, up bow so there's a lot of control to learn there. Um, most people do a lot of bouncing at the beginning, like that. So don't try and do it by tightening up and forcing it. Just do it slower until um, everything gets coordinated, very slowly, like that. So almost before you play, you can hear a little sort of noise like that, you see? Okay. Do you hear that um, pre-note noise? It's a little noise you hear just before you play the note. And it's the bow and it's this, the hair and the string connecting. So even though it's a round movement, there is that moment of connection. Uh, and that's the real key to learning this. It's to learning how to um, create that moment in every single stroke and then start to extend it until uh, eventually what you're aiming for is to be able to do it in a very, very subtle way, uh, in a piece. Or in a, a more obvious way. Okay, so... <coughs> It's a very, very important thing to be able to start to do. And it changes your understanding of sound uh, because the violin really loves this. It's, it's able to resonate on all notes. That's what you're looking for. So I hope that um, you get on well. This is a, a really beautiful one because um, it's rhythmical, it's dynamic, and it's just so full of discovery. And I'll say bye-bye for now.